What's up everybody? I am B with Prey for Snow Auto Detailing and I am super thrilled that you are here in the garage with me today because we have this beautiful 2022 Ford Maverick in, wait for it, Area 51. When the customer stated that they were picking up a brand new Ford Maverick, I said, please let me detail it. Let me paint protect it. So we are going to apply the Adams Graphene Ceramic Coating, the advanced formula, so up to nine years protection. This only has about 577 miles on it, and so we don't need to compound, at least on the pre-detail inspection, I don't see a place where it needs compounding, but we will definitely polish like I do with all brand new vehicles so that it can be jeweled to perfection and the coating will take. We're gonna do all the normal prep steps. The tires and wheels are not in rough shape, 500 miles. This is going to be sick. I've never worked on a Maverick before, so let's get into it because I love new models. Let's go, let's just go, let's go. So it does have carpeted wheel wells, my favorite, but with 577, what a isn't it true that you haven't been very fair to the Maverick? Yes, it is true that I have not been very fair to the Maverick. And why? Because I was a little bit worried it being based off the C2 platform. I didn't know how well it would perform as a truck. But I'm excited to have it here because when I spend time with a vehicle, I can see it and fall in love with it and get to know it a little bit better. And I have not spent a bunch of time with the Maverick. Well, let's work on it and see if we do fall in love with it, because I bet we will. As I was saying before the interruption, we have carpeted wheel wells with a few miles on it. I'm not worried about them. Well, I'm never worried about them, but uh, they are usually, they usually tank the floor and Spartacus mop for me before I got going here. So we're going to start with the wheels and tires. I have Adam's wheel and tire cleaner and I'm not gonna spray the iron remover on there. Ah, you know what, we're gonna spray iron remover on there just in case. Usually I wouldn't with so few miles, but I just, you never know where these wheels have been or how long these wheels have been hanging out at a factory, so let's make sure all the fallout's out then. Let's keep going with that stuff. Shampoo of choice, not that I think there's paint protection on here, but the shampoo is a stripping one, which is clean slate from Chemical Guys, and we'll get into some of that later. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit different process on the pre-wash. But for wheels and tires, normal. All right, I'm pretty shocked. Look at all that iron, or that fallout, that contamination that's going down. That's a shocking amount. Recently, as I have been applying, well, at least on camera, as I have been applying the free treatment or car pro lift, I have been using just the HDX sprayer and spraying it on like that. Another mode that I have tried, I don't know if it's more or less effective. I'm gonna foam it basically. So I'm using car pro lift. I am going to use it in the foam cannon rather than just the HDX sprayer. But same idea, I'm gonna spray it onto the paint, allow it to dwell for a few minutes and then do the first rinse, and then we'll wash. As I have already stated, this, you just apply it like you would the shampoo by spraying it on the paint and letting it dwell, but this does not count as foam cannoning yet. Hey, little buddy, you wanna do action cam? Let's do action cam. Now let's wash, shampoo of choice, as I've already stated, when prepping things is Clean Slate from Chemical Guys. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to camera take it away. It's time to, come on, 
Say it. It's time to... I'll help you out. It's time to go. Thanks, homie. By the way, that was totally worth it. <laughs> oh no, you're still dirty. Sorry, buddy. Time to wash with the two bucket method. I've got my washing materials, which of course is a microfiber wash mitt and a detailing brush. We wash using the microfiber brush and then any fine areas, typically around badges and whatnot, places where we can't get the wash mitt, we use a detailing brush. One more round of the foam cannon and then we will rinse for the decontamination. Step one of the decontamination process is, that was loud, Adam's iron remover. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I was surprised by the wheels, so we'll see. All right, let's grab our Nautilus here. <laughs> wait, wait, let's grab the gauntlet here. Nautilus, where's my brain at? Captain Nemo was a pretty cool guy though. Cool? He was an intense guy. There we go. Physical decontamination with optimum no rinse, chemical guys clay bar in the medium grade, and then a microfiber towel. But there is paint protection film on the front of the truck right here. It makes a weird bend right here, and it's on this quarter panel as well. This clay bar sesh is going to be very, very low key because of the newness of the vehicle. Yeah, there's just almost nothing, but almost nothing is not nothing. So <laughs> we are still gonna do this. I am getting so pumped. This physical decontamination, the chemical decontamination, those steps really didn't take that long. Now all I have to do is tape off and then do some paint correction, just polishing, and then we're ready for the ceramic. Well, of course IPA, but this is going to be sick. I was up till 4 a.m. this morning detailing a Silverado, then I had a Hyundai Elantra that I cleaned the seats on, and now I'm doing this, so it's like 10 or something, I'm going to bed, but we're gonna start hit it hard tomorrow. Hope you sleep tight, camera. It is now day two of this epic ceramic coating on the Ford Maverick. I'm going to tape everything off with my tape, obviously. <laughs> what I mean by everything is I'm going to tape off the plastic areas down here, this lariat badging on the side. I'm also going to tape around the hood here, but only on the part that's PPF because I don't need to polish or want to polish this area. I do notice that the PPF is here and on the hood, but not on the front bumper, so we will do that. We'll coat everything, but as far as paint correction, you don't need to paint correct PPF because it's not paint. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> We're 
weird message in the tape there. Good recommendation though. Let's check it out with the swirl inspection light. There are very, very, very few defects. Few enough defects that it will be paint corrected as we do the polishing step. So I am going to stick with the one step method as I have planned. While I take this off, let's think about one thing. Well, actually, let's think about two things. One, this paint is stunning. Two, this paint has the coolest name ever, Area 51. That's just fun, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't get over that. I think it's so cool. Remember, paint protection film. No need to polish. All right, so this is before the polishing. Doop. Rage on that beat, going crazy. Because this board is in amazing shape, because it's brand new, the polishing made a difference. It's not insanely drastic, but there's not a lot of paint to correct. It does pop a lot better, so I'll take you down. So here's before, tiny scratches, just not popping, and there's after, and it's just really clear, popping, and beautiful. There's before, rolling into after, but it's just not as crazy where you see this definitive line and like some of these paint corrections that I've done that are just so drastic. I really like this Essence Griot's Garage pads or Ultra Cut and those microfiber pads from Meguiar's. Another really solid option if you're just doing a one step that you don't wanna mess with, two step, you don't wanna cut too deep, Eurofiber makes what's called a 50-50 pad and half of the fibers, it's a microfiber pad, half of those fibers are cutting, half of those are polishing. And if you use it with a really solid polish like this guy right here, this 3D1, which is a one-step polish, which a, it's a one-step compound and polish. It's a really, really good combo if you're just trying to do something a little bit quick. Another combo I like is this fast correcting cream from Griot's Garage, but I know on camera, I've pretty much only been using this combination, but I'm not a one trick pony. I do use a lot of different things and I do a lot of experimenting because I do a lot of detailing. Let's, <laughs> rambling, let's finish this stuff right here by stuff. Of course, I mean, let's finish polishing with this combination that we have. We will have to switch to the three inch pads down here just because I can't get the five inch pad there. Uh, three inch pads here, three inch pads here. But let's just polish so we can coat. After the first two passes, you can still see that it's working in a little bit. Now watch after these next two. You can see in this pass, this pass, the, the polish itself, you can barely tell it's even there. That means you know you worked it in. And it looks cool. Thank you. 
I've already polished all the major areas and you may not see anything just yet, but look at these scratches right here. Look at those. It's the only spot that's scratched like that, but goodness, I have no idea what happened. But even over here, you get to right here and there's a ton of scratches. Sad. I'm gonna paint correct, I'm gonna compound just right there. See how this looks. Oh yeah. Tiny bit, this scratch right there is really deep, but gone. That really did bum me out, just because for the customer's sake, I really want every customer to have just amazing experiences when they purchase a vehicle, when they have me ceramic coat it or whatever. I just love cars and want everybody else to love cars. So for a flawless vehicle to have a weird scratch like that, probably from the factory. I don't even know where it came from. It was just a bummer, but I'm glad it came out. We're gonna keep going with the three inch pad. Look at this though, the rear view mirrors, the paint actually wraps all the way around. That's uncommon, usually it ends right here, but it doesn't matter because I'll polish it and ceramic coat it the same. Yes, Ford has it totally figured out. If you remember in some of my other videos, and if you haven't seen them, you should watch all my videos because they're awesome. But I detailed a, what, a Colorado and a Silverado, and I complained heavily about their badging because they have the badging with a whole name on it, but it's an individual decals on the side of the vehicle and it is insanely difficult to clean out in between all the letters. But check out Maverick right here. This is how you should do it. Ford, good job branding the vehicle and I do love self-promotion, but it's just embedded into the bed or into the tailgate here and it looks Phenomenal. I'm going to be able to graphene ceramic. This this is how it should be done. Chevy no, Ford yes. Do you know what I just realized? And I don't know why I hadn't even thought of this. I'm done polishing. I'm so excited. Not to be done polishing, because I do love paint correcting, but to move on to the next step. So let's blow off all of that dust that was caused by polishing, and then we'll take off the tape. It is now time to surface prep. Going to use the provided surface prep in the kit from Adam's Polishes. But because part of the, not part of, the entire reason that you want to surface prep or prep your surface <laughs> is you want to remove any oils. And when you polish, it covers it in oils and I don't want any of the oils off my skin getting on there either. So we're going to spray this on, wipe it off. We have an Eagle Edgeless from the rag company for the microfiber towel that I use in this step. That they're awesome. They are definitely awesome. I don't use them around the door jams or anything like that on the inside there, simply because they're really nice and door jams sometimes are just damaging to microfiber towels. So I don't use them because I want to keep them awesome. I cannot contain my excitement. This paint looks sick. Area 51, good on you Ford. This looks amazing. And this is going to be such a sick ceramic application coating. I don't mean to keep stating the obvious, but this is going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm converted, I'm sold. I love, love the aesthetics of this Maverick. I'll show you it a little bit more in depth, but let's get this work, keep going. Camera, are you aware of what time it is? <laughs> it's time to prep it. Oh, I'm so excited.
remember that I started detailing cars because I absolutely love them. And so before we do the ceramic coating, I think we need to do a lap and just enjoy the beauty that is this Maverick. Let's go around in a circle. I moved the table so I wouldn't run into it this time. <laughs> Hey, driver side B. Yes, passenger side B. Have you changed your mind and come around to liking the Maverick yet? Oh, I totally have come around on the Maverick. Would you care to share with the class? Well, <laughs> I guess I could. When I first judged the Maverick, I was judging it off of full-size trucks. I was raised in an area where full-size trucks were the thing, so I didn't think this was a very capable vehicle. However, after detailing it, I looked at the specs and I realized that if you are looking for a good commuter truck or a good commuter vehicle with something with a bed and a little bit truck-esque, this is honestly an amazing, an amazing alternative by the specs and seemingly by the performance in the reviews. Also, the aesthetics on this thing are absolutely killer. Totally agree on all of the aesthetics and I can't wait to show you the interior. Let's wrap up this ceramic coating first, and then I'll show you those things. Needless to say, I'm converted. I, I, I dig it. I've changed my mind. Ask yourself, why do I keep the leveling towel and the ceramic and the microfiber plush towel clear over there on my countertop? That's because it is a risk to keep it with me, even in like a rolling cart or on a little table. I sometimes have visitors out here and I can't guarantee it's safety and there would be nothing worse than not having a backup ceramic bottle and having one fall to the floor and crash and break. So I think it's worth it and you can't drop these on the floor either, these being the leveling towel or the wiping off towels. You can't drop them on the floor or they're tanked. So I reduce risk by keeping them out of harm's way over on the counter. You're awesome. Nah, you're awesome. Nah, you're, you're awesome. awesome. <laughs> I sent some lyrics for a, a song I used to sing to my wife when we were dating so very long ago. My beautiful wife, I should say, and she just texted back and said, that must have been when I fell in love with your hand mic singing, and I thought that was really funny because I apparently still do that nearly 15 years later, as evidenced by my videos. Anyway, made me giggle. You're too short, and I'm not going to take any of your wine about the table. Because you're totally going to get on.
Doesn't that look sick? I did not think that was gonna turn out because that was flashing weird. Ooh yeah. Do these wheels and tires, of course. My friends, for the super sick aesthetics inside this thing, check this out. All right, built for tough. Love that right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Airbag, I don't care about that. I mean, I care about airbags. Come on, not heartless. But look at this. What? Whoa, check out that cool hexagonal pattern. I don't know what it would be considered. Look at this handle. Look at this pattern kind of runs throughout this and let me snag the key. Oh wait, I might be able to do it this way. Watch the startup. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm telling you, the aesthetics on this Maverick are absolutely incredible, but genuinely even more incredible is how awesome this turned out. We're gonna do some laps before I take the after photos because this thing is so sick. Even though I feel a little bad for it, I would like to take some time and thank the customer. Thank you, epic customer. Genuinely, big heartfelt thank you from me because I know you're probably excited about your new vehicle and you let me borrow it for the weekend to apply this absolutely incredible graphene ceramic coating. It means the world to me and I hope that you enjoy the quality of the installation and the product itself and this epic video. Thank you, epic customer. My friends, I do not know if there is much else to say on this. I am converted to the Maverick. I was not a huge fan before. Well, I was a fan, I liked it because I love cars, but this just wasn't my favorite. I am now a believer. I'm a Maverick fan. This was a super sick detail. I hope that you loved the detail. And of course, up here is a link to subscribe. I'm seriously trying to grow the channel. It is tough, but that helps a ton if you are not. Over here is a link to another one of my super sick videos. Click it. I hope that you love it like you love this one. And of course, if you want to detail with me, head on down and detail that like button and I will catch you, my epic friends, on the next one. <laughs>